Um, I want you guys to realize how big of a deal it is to not only just like have access to someone like Marielle, but for her to be willing to get on a call with our team on a Friday night is just so unheard of in any other company. I mean, if you guys are coming from a different company, like, I don't know if the top earner would even respond to your messages, let alone get on a training, um, on a Friday night. And so Marielle is like I said, our top company earner, she is a black diamond. If you don't know what that means, look at the comp plan and you'll be like, oh my gosh, she makes what a month. <laughs> um, she is also on the advisory council. She is a firecracker. She's like my soul sister. I love her so much. She is just an entrepreneur at heart. She's a go-getter. She has owned 13, I think it's like 13 gyms in the past. She's really into fitness. She moved from San Diego to Park City and just like skis every day with her family because she can. And you guys are going to love her. And if you're coming to convention in person, go find her, give her a hug. And I promise you, she has this gift of making everybody feel so special. If you only chat with her for five minutes, she's going to walk away knowing like five facts about you. And you're just going to be like, oh my gosh. She is the kind of leader that I want to be. I learned so much from her every single time. So she is here tonight to talk to us about the whole concept behind success, love, speed. I love this topic so much because I think you guys have all seen a lot of my story and my journey of just how we've gone from zero to a hundred in no time and speed and momentum are so important in your business. And also the speed of the leader is the speed of the team. What you do is going to be contagious to your team. So um, I'm going to let Mary help be the expert on this. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're so, you're so rad. Uh, I love the numbers on here. Holy cow. You guys obviously do want this and I love that. And um, just thank you for, for asking me to share because this is a topic that I love and I'm very excited about it. And it looks like it's being recorded for um, more people to watch. So I don't think I, okay, never mind. I was looking at something on my, my view. I want to make sure I can see people. So I see Brittany on the screen, the main screen. <laughs> I want to see everybody. Okay. I like looking at your faces, you know, um, I'm a big hugger as Brittany said, <laughs> but, but we can't hug right in this moment. So I get to see a lot of your faces and thanks for showing your, your cameras. Um, but anyhow, yes, success, love, speed. You know, why is that? Um, you know, every other industry, you know, um, well, I shouldn't say every other, most industries, they preach, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Being consistent over a long period of time. This is the only industry where that's not true. <laughs> um, you know, this is, have you ever heard people say something like, um, well, in this, in, in the home-based business industry or in this company or in that company or whatever it is, if you come from a, a different company, you know, you only need to sign one ambassador a month or two ambassadors to be active. Drop that lingo, drop that mindset. That is not true. Um, you want to work on as many and as quickly as humanly possible, because that's what creates momentum. Momentum creates energy and speed, success loves speed. So more people are drawn to the energy and the momentum and the movement that you and your brand are building. Every single one of you owns your own business. You have your own brand. What does it look like? What does it feel like? You know, um, what does it produce? right? Um, what does it yield in terms of income for people on your team? That is up to you. I just know that when you have a mindset of I'll recruit one ambassador a month or two ambassadors a month or two ambassadors and then be done, that's the wrong, unfortunately, that's the wrong mindset, right? I would challenge to recruit 20 to 30 as soon as possible. And I know that sounds crazy. There's also this myth out there that say that people say, oh, well, in this industry, the average person recruits a couple people. It's like BS. That's what you tell your headspace. Like it's whatever you determine it's going to be. It might take you some time to have people join your business. It might not happen overnight at all. It might happen after a year where you get your first one. I get that. But once you get one, you work on getting another right away. And this is how you do that. You call back people on your list. And you say, hey, you told me no two months ago, six weeks ago, two years ago, but I've got somebody that's getting started. And I think it'd be really great to give you a head start. I can actually partner them with you on your team because I spoke to you first. Pretty simple. 
We use that seven day placement suite for a, a, a reason. Seven day leverage to, for you to go out and create more momentum and more speed on recruiting more. That's really what you wanna do. Now you don't wanna necessarily, you know, rec recruit one person and in the month of December, and then every six days you're constantly recruiting. So that one person in December that's doing all the work goes, you know, to the bottom of some line and there's all these people that get put above, you know, that's, that's not necessarily what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, but you want that person to also be gifted somebody, somebody gets placed with that line. So anyhow, that's a tag team effort in that. When you have success in something, you have a new business partner that's joining you, you people need to know. I've got another business partner joining me. I've got a business partner joining me in this. Who else wants to know what we know, right? Um, again, slow and steady does not win the race in this one. This is why this group, this team, Brittany herself is breaking records, not just in Q, but in the industry. Because some of you have grabbed a hold of how exciting this momentum is and you wanna, you wanna have it last as long as possible. I promise the momentum doesn't last for forever. So you want to utilize this right now and plug yourselves in to the energy that it's creating. Another thing you need to do is whenever you bring somebody on board, any business partner at all, any ambassador that joins with you, you launch them, you sit side by side with them or across Zoom with them. You do not leave their side until they've signed three customers and they have five confirmations to get on their QIQ launch webinar. You literally do not, you, it's not considered a launch, just going through their hundred name list, setting up their QIQs and finding out what their why is. Get results. Be a good business partner in making sure they are going to earn their first paycheck. So three preferred customers, maybe they call their mom, their dad, their sister, their brother, their cousin, their neighbor, their best friend. Get three. And it's pretty simple. Hey, if you could improve one thing about your health, what would it be? Energy? Sleep, pain relief, mental clarity, or weight management. It's usually one of those five. And we have answers for all five of those, right? My hand just looked really weird when I did that. <laughs> five, not this way. <laughs> okay, I got five on it. Five confirmations too. You have a QIQ launch. Maybe they're, maybe they're even their customers that decided I'll be, your first, I'll be one of your first customers right? You do not leave their side until it's a, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm new. I'm excited about <laughs> Suzanne. Um, I, I'm new. I'm excited about, you know, um, this partnership that I've got going this ground floor company, you know, thank you for, for considering to be one of my first customers. I really want to hit my goal. People love to know what your goal is, share your goal and have your new ambassador share their goal and don't leave their side. Literally, I sit on the other Zoom on the other side and I mute my line and I listen to them make these phone calls and I help walk them through what they sound like when they're making these calls or when they're sending messages out until they get three customers and five confirmations on their QIQ launch. We're not done launching. Okay. That's really, really important because then they physically just went through that. They can help somebody else go through that. And that's where the speed comes. I got three customers day one. People need to know that. Like anybody out there, social media, making phone calls. I signed up for my business. I launched that day. I got three customers day one. What? How'd you do that? Oh, let me, let me tell you, right? People typically want to improve one of five areas in their health energy, sleep, weight management, pain relief, or mental clarity slash depression, anxiety, right? Like, oh, cool. Yeah. You guys offer all that. Okay. Tell me more, right? We, we overcomplicate a lot. We overthink what we're going to say, what we're going to message, what we're going to post. And you don't want to overcomplicate simple, but quick, simple, quick. I thought I had to sneeze. Yep, I did. So <laughs> muted. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> so um, I would say, <laughs> I would say those are the a couple of the fundamental things. A couple things also. Are you oversharing at all with Q? 
product opportunity. It can be very basic, very simple, and you could fire off 25, 100 messages right now. Very simple. You know, hey, so-and-so, make it personal. Don't just copy and paste. Hey, Laura. Hey, Amber. Hey, Kevin. We haven't spoken in forever. You know, I've always admired you. I've always looked up to you. I've always respected you, especially in XYZ, business, parenting, your family life, whatever it is, make it personal, XYZ. I have something that's come across my desk. I'm extremely excited about it because I value your opinion so highly. Would you take a few minutes to take a look at it and give me your honest feedback and validate it for me? I like sending an audio though. I don't like texting those words. I like sending an audio so they can hear your enthusiasm in your voice. So we can practice this. You can all get your phones out, your, vo your voice memos, get your phones. I know they're all sitting right next to you and you can practice right into your phone. Ready? Pick a name. It's just for your voice memo so you can listen to it later. I want you to re-listen to it so you think, is that exciting enough? Is it passionate enough? Is there joy coming through the phone? Or is it like, hey, Amy, something has come across my desk. I've always respected you in business. I'd love for you to look at something. It's like, no, <laughs> right? Hey, Brittany, oh my gosh, I would love to catch up. How are you? Something has come across my desk and I just have to run it by you. I've always looked up to you. You killed it in your freaking home-based business company. And I'd love to get your eyes on ears on something because again, your opinion means the world to me. When do you have a few minutes? I'd love to share, right? Who would reply to which message? <laughs> I would love for you all to practice that. You don't have to do it right now. Practice that, re-listen to it, practice that re-listen to it and get those messages out. Again, success loves speed and success knows that you're gonna hear more no's than yeses. It's just how it is, right? I heard 37 no's in my first uh, company. I've only been in two, by the way, before I heard my first yes. And it was a 38th person I shared with. And she went on to make six figures in our last project. So that was worth it. <laughs> Okay. So I would say, don't get discouraged with hearing no's. Most of those no's ironically, and I can think about them. I can see their faces, every single one of them. One of them was my cousin. One was my neighbor. One was my next door neighbor. I mean, literally they came back and were yeses six months later, nine months later, 10 months later, three years later. So I just, when they were no's, I didn't go like, oh, wow, you suck. Right. I just said, Hey, I understand. Like it's, it's not the right timing or not the right fit. Totally get it. Would you mind if I kept you on my list, my follow-up list, and whenever there's a new product to try or a new promotion, would you want to hear about it? And if they said, yes, absolutely, keep me in the loop, great. They went on that list, right? That's called a drip list. But in your present business, you want to be sharing like crazy Ignorance on fire is more important than knowledge on ice. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to have all the knowledge. You don't have to understand what the ingredients are in the products. You just have to have excitement and you just have to have passion. And quite frankly, you just say, I don't know all the details. I just know that this space and this company is growing at record pace. And I want you to hear about it. Let me connect you with somebody or let me get you on a Zoom. Less is more from your mouth. Trust me. The more that you invite to QIQs. Okay, Amber got 37 no's in one day. We have got to figure out what you're saying. I didn't get all 37 no's in one day. <laughs> you might be writing too much, saying too much. So I would get with your, get with your support team on what you're sharing um, oh, you got a lot of yeses since then. Okay, cool. You might need to just tweak some things. Sometimes we like vomit, like Q and all the details. Like we're so excited and you got to really pull back a little bit. That's not speed. That's vomit, <laughs> right? So you want to just quickly go through people because professionals sort and amateurs convince. And if you want to shorten the speed, quick or hasten the speed, I should say, on how successful you are, 
you don't want to be convincing people and dragging people, right? The only person I pretty much said, oh, just give me your credit card. I'm ordering you something is my mom and my dad and my sister. <laughs> But you don't want to be doing that necessarily to, with your network. You know what I mean? So I would say there's a, a couple, a handful of people that you could say, give me your credit card, your social, I'm positioning you. By the way, right now, right? You have the power of being able to say, we're the, the top three, in the top three fastest growing companies in the world. We're on the, one of the fastest teams, you know, in the industry. We're on the, one of the fastest teams in our company, I always say one of the fastest because, you know, technically if we looked at and break down numbers that changes from day to day, but I like saying one of, one of, one of over and over and over. So people are drawn to that. People are drawn to success. Um, right before this call, because some of you guys know, I love my quotes and I love pulling quotes and it's just kind of funny, but I have a 365 deck of cards and deck of cards, <laughs> like they're gaming cards. They're just quote cards. But I pulled this one and I thought, this is so rad for this group. Live courageously bold. It has an explanation point. Live in such a manner that at the end of this day, at the end of this year, at the end of this precious life, you can hold your head up high, smile, and be proud of a life well lived. This is our moment. A lot of this right now is a defining moment to set us up for what we want in life. Brittany kind of shared with you that, you know, we're skiing as a family every day. That's partly true. Very true. I picked up my kids right before this call. They were skiing with their dad and Jake Spencer and his kids. Actually, they took a, a family day today and I, I don't know how I got stuck working, but just kidding. Um, but you know, um, this is, we are living full out. We are living our dreams full out in the mountains of Park City, Utah. We're from San Diego. People don't typically leave San Diego to move to the snow. Eh. But you know what? It's always been one of our dreams. And we've always wanted to be able to say, yeah, do we want to ski today? Yeah, we want to ski today. And then we'll get to work, right? This opportunity right now for you can be how you carve out your choices and your freedom. But you have got to be sharing with as many people and land grabbing Q real estate as if you were setting up franchises, McDonald's franchises. How many McDonald's franchises would you have liked to own over the last 50 years, right? People, human bodies end up being our franchises and word of mouth advertising for our brand. Oh, you got engaged in La Jolla. I love that. Congrats, Rachel. Part of my stomping grounds. Although we're about 10 to 15, 20 minutes south of La Jolla um, in a place called Point Loma. Four stoplights from the airport. Fun fact. <laughs> La Jolla is a little hard to get in and out of the airport. The amount of travel that I've done in my career, I got to be really close to the airport. So anyhow, I would say this is your chance, again, to be bold. I'm going to leave you with this. Be bold with people on your chicken list. Be bold with people you're scared to talk to. Be bold with the most successful people you've ever met in your lives. And then also ask people that tell you no's. Hey, okay, you're a no, and I understand that, and I respect that. Who do you know that I need to know? Who do you know that is uber successful that would want to know about the ground floor of this, of the third, one of the third, one of the top three fastest growing companies in the world? And ask for their network, ask for their referral. Some of the best people that have ever joined me in business have been referrals from somebody. So be bold, be more courageous, share, share, share. Use that leverage. Once you have one ambassador, you can bring another one in. That's how it works, right? To give somebody an advantage. People want to join sometimes when you come back to them and say, okay, I wasn't able to do this and offer this to you before, but I actually have an advantage. I have your first business partner that I can actually put and be a part of your business, would you want to talk now? And then you just keep sharing that over and over and over and over. And that's how success gets duplicated as well. Last thing in closing, what if they say they don't like sales? Yeah, me either. I hate sales. That's not what we're doing. We're partnering with the ground floor. We're sharing products that work, letting people know this product line exists before everybody else knows it's a household name. Like, when, I, when someone says, I don't like sales, I go, all right, do you have you ever bought any essential oils in your life? Did you know about Young Living or doTERRA 20 years ago? Yeah, neither did I. 15 years ago? Yeah, neither did I. 10 years ago? Eh, sort of. I started hearing about them. Now they're household brands, 
Would you like to be a partner and a pioneer with high positioning in the tree with a household brand that's not a household brand yet? I love that. Hey, Marielle. So one thing that I love that I think it was Brooke Lloyd that shared with me and someone on my team early on, she said that we need to be addicted to the action, but not emotionally tied to the outcome, which I love. And so can you just explain really quick about how when we talk about success, love, speed, if you're getting a bunch of no's, if you're not promoting as fast as other people, that's not what we mean here, right? We're right. talking about the, the speed of the action that we're doing, because that's what we can control. That's right. That's right. Not waiting till next Friday to message people because it's convention next Friday and you get the courage. It's messaging people now in the moment, day to day, day after day, being consistently aggressive and bold every single day with action steps, messaging, starting conversations, sampling out products, inviting people to get onto QIQs. That's what you want to be attached to. That's the success. It just won't yield the results in time, but in time you will be successful. So if you're only attached to what people say, yes or no, or the results, you know, whether or not they sign up, that's not what we mean at all. That's not going to get you anywhere in business. It's all about action. Anyone can do anything, um, reading a book, you know, sharing, but it's the action steps. It's applying what you've learned from training that gets you paid at the end of the day and gets you to build a really successful team. A QIQ is just a Zoom presentation, just a a nickname for an opportunity Zoom. Thanks, Marielle. You're so so welcome. I hope that helps. I can't wait to see a lot of you at convention next week. Definitely there's more time to get more people uh, to get a ticket to Velocity. You should all have your goal to have two to three more people that are just intrigued that say, yeah, I'm interested. They should tune into Velocity next week because that'll be the best launching pad for their business ever. Yes. Do you have like one or two top tips of how else to prepare for convention? Since this is all of our first, mine included, one of the things that I wrote in a post yesterday in our page was that everyone should go into convention prepared to invest into their business with the new promo packs that are coming out. That's true too. Be, 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 be prepared to, to, you know, of course, um, spending money makes you money. That's part of the deal with own, being a business owner. That's just how it's always been. I bought new gym equi- equipment almost every year for my gym. I had to spend money to make more money, right? Um, and so that's part of the overhead that you need to be prepared for. Bring a list of people calling your network now. Hey, our company is about to go into phase two, massive momentum. We have new products launching. Would you want to be on my VIP list to hear about what gets announced next week? Love that. Awesome. I can't wait to see you. All right. Yay. Can't wait to see you too. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye you guys.